Hi, it's great to be with you this morning. I'm Pastor Dave Holmes and welcome to Leicester Elam YouTube site. Don't forget to check us out on our Facebook or our website. Uh, why not uh, visit us this Sunday at half past ten. Uh, tune in on the YouTube channel. We'll have a great time together. Well, we've been sharing some thoughts over the past few months. And again, I want to share one with you this morning. You know, and uh, I want to ask you this question. What does love look like? I mean, we fall in love, don't we? And we we love this, and I love that, and I love music, and, and whatever it is. And this word love is banded about so easily and freely, and I guess on so many different levels. But I don't know, have you ever been in love? I guess most of us have some time in our life, or hopefully will be. But you know, when you fall in love with somebody, everything else just seems to change doesn't it you just want to be with that person all the time you just want to be in their presence all the time or ringing them up on the phone or you sort of listen for their every word and you're attentive and you gaze into their eyes and oh it's so absolutely lovely isn't it to be in love you know i remember some friends of mine very good friends of mine uh, I had the privilege of marrying them some years ago. But uh, they were on a conference together that uh, was being run. And it was love at first sight. They met on this conference and they just were, wow, in love. <laughs> and uh, at the end of the week on this conference, everybody else is rushing around, packing stuff away and doing stuff. And they're just sat on this city and they're just talking away. And everybody else around them is working like crazy, but they're just in love and they're just, the whole world is happening around them and and they didn't even re realise. You know, I spoke to them after about it and we've laughed, but they were so much in love. And um, and that's what it's like, isn't it? That that sense of first love, of of everything else just seems to take second place. Everything else gets arranged around the fact that you want to be with that person and the other stuff well I'll get I'll get round to that it'll happen and um, and of course it, there is this sense of just wanting to be there with the person that person wins your heart and wins your mind and wins your thoughts and you wake up in the morning with that person on your mind and what 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 is in between me and that person today because actually that I get that out of the way as quick as possible because I want to be with them and you know it is it, it does it, it overwhelms who you are well life has a way of slowly taking over doesn't it from that first love work and children and cleaning the house and house stuff, gardens, cars, whatever. Just stuff needs doing. And it, 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 it tends to then switch the other way, doesn't it? That those things become more important than the person that we first loved. It's not that we don't love them. It's just that life has got in the way. And it slowly creeps into a place where this other stuff takes over. But what does Jesus have to say about it? You know, Jesus um, was asked this question by one of the Pharisees. He says, um, what is the first commandment? And Jesus answered and said to him, the first of all the commandments is... Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, and you shall love the Lord your God with all of your heart and with all of your soul and with all of your mind and with all of your strength. This is the first commandment, is what Jesus had to say. You know, um, Jesus was saying, basically, put God first. And I guess when we talk about love, it's who has won your heart? Who has won your heart? 
Because who's won your heart has won your head. <laughs> um, you know, you think about them all the time. Who has won your heart? Who sits upon the throne of your heart? You know, you've heard about um, golf widows or football widows or, or whatever it might be. Of course, they're not widows per se, are they? It's not about bereavement, but it is about loss. Because actually, the person that they were in love is now seems to be more in love with golf or seems to be more in love with football or seems to be more in love with dot, 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 whatever that might be. Things have shifted. And John, when he was writing the book of Revelation and God was revealing his heart and his thoughts to John, wrote this to the church at Ephesus. He says, I know your works, your labours, your patience, and that you cannot bear those who are evil. And you have tested those who say they are apostles and are not, and have found them to be liars. And you have persevered and have patience, and have laboured for my name's sake, and have not become weary. All that is great, isn't it? And then he says this, Nevertheless, I have this against you, that you have left your first love. Wow. Imagine that. They'd left the first love. And, uh, and sometimes that's how it can be, can't it? Things just get in the way of our first love. When you first fell in love with Jesus... When you first understood God the Father and his heart towards you. Yeah, how it, how it captivated your heart. How it captivated everything about you. You know, Romans 12 verse 1 says this. Therefore I urge you, brethren and sisters, in the view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You know, the world views love differently to the church. And let's not be conformed to the image of the world. Let's not get dragged into their place. But let's be transformed by the renewing of our mind again and say, Lord, hmm, I've allowed things to slip in maybe. Or, or maybe you're doing fine with your first love. But hey, let's just take a moment and think about it and spend some time with God. And I'm going to leave it by saying this. How's your love life? How is your love life with our wonderful Saviour? Take care, have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.